The Lord would say, May I know that the Master Kayanda by the glory that I am releasing is not a glory that you've experienced before. I also unmarry yourself, divorce yourself from the previous glory in the name of Jesus. I know that a lot of times we hear prophecies about unusual glory. It's my promise to my children. It's my promise to my bride. 
Yes, Lord God, we thank you for your glory. We thank you, Lord God, for releasing your promised glory. Oh, Lord God, even as we would take some deep breaths, even now, Lord God, we just partner with the glory that you are pouring out. Just begin to take some deep breaths and just take in the glory of God. Take in his goodness and all that he has been doing today. Oh, more of your glory lord god more of your glory jesus more of your glory abashandaya more of your glory father abasande eshetorendeya oh saranda yengere basiandaya oh more of your glory imayendeya oh saranda yarakaya oh lord jesus etetorende he devezoranga yandaya Oh, ya mende rasa baye nere. Oh, sorroso bababa kayande. Oh, yende aya yaraya. We're just receiving for a moment. Oh, sharandaya. Oh, sheteandaya. Oh, of your glory, amasataya. Yero shayi keria songa babaya. Oh, Jesus, oh, renderaya. Go of ayamashataya rogoya nanaya. Yes, Lord God, we thank you for the weighty glory, Lord Jesus Christ, that you are pouring out, Lord God. We partner, Lord Jesus Christ, with the truth, of, uh, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, that new glory is invading us right now, Lord God. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you are pleased with the work that we have done today and you are solidifying it with your new glory, Lord God. I just decree we're being saturated with weighty kabod glory even now, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord God. We say increase, 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 increase as we, Lord God, endeavor to receive your glory. Receive the goodness of your glory. Receive the might of your glory. Receive the weightiness of your glory. Receive the honor of your glory. Receive the majesty of your glory, Lord God. Yes, more of your glory. More of your glory, Lord. More of your glory, Lord Jesus Christ. We wash in your glory, Lord God. We receive the rivers of refreshing that shifts in through your glory, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Yes, we wash in, Lord God. We, we go to the deep inside of your glory even now, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, God. We shift into the deep, Lord God. Deep, call it out to the deep, Lord God, as we are consumed by your glory. Yes, Lord God. Yes, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord God, more of your glory. Just receive. by your glory, encouraged, Lord God, by your glory, 
We take your glory as a sign, Lord God, that you are sealing everything that you have done among us today. Thank you, Jesus. just receiving we are poured out now God is pouring back into us we decree this altar that we have built today Lord God and we are continuing to build Lord God is just receiving your promised glory thank you Jesus Fulfillment of your promised glory. Thank you, God. Just be with your Lord. Even as we are being endued by your glory, Lord Jesus Christ, we just decree that a returning to you as the first love communing with you in your glory, Lord God, as a lifestyle is being sown up on this altar today, sown globally, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus. If you have a, a word, you can put it on the chat. As you feel led. Thank you, God. The globe is drinking your glory. The world is drinking your glory. The earth is drinking your glory. The nations are drinking your glory. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Yes, the earth is full of your glory. The earth is full of your glory. The earth is full of your glory. The earth is being fulfilled by your glory. Drink, 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 drink. The earth is being fulfilled by your glory. Yes, drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Yes, you do. Keep receiving. The earth is full of your glory. The 
earth declares your glory. The earth declares your glory. The earth is giving you glory. The earth is giving you glory, Jesus. The nations are giving you glory. The nations will give you glory. The nations will give you glory. The earth is consumed of your glory. The earth is saturated with your glory. Yes, drink. Drink, 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 drink. In the end.
technically rested before we started the the prayer this morning. Um, there was a whole event that I saw in my dream that was actually being panned out for the prophecies that were spoken today, and I I'm just sharing that just to let us know that it is what the Lord is saying, and we must pay attention to those words that were spoken, the prophecies that were were given. I know sometimes it's been a long day, uh, but if we are able to go back to those prophecies. Interestingly, yesterday I was led to to read some accounts um, from Ezekiel. And I think it's because we have been um, going through the book of Revelation and I had a witness that definitely there's some things that have been highlighted in Ezekiel that is also um, also been prophesied by, by John. But I, I went there searching and I came across some accounts of the false prophets that Prophet Redita was talking about that took me straight back to that place and I was like, oh my God, Lord, you were actually preparing, you were preparing me for tonight or today because it wasn't just highlighted about, um, and this is not about gender, but Ezekiel chapter 13 did, didn't just highlight um, male prophets, but it also highlighted female prophets, female fails, uh, false prophets. That shocked my whole system. I, I, um, that was the, that was the um, honest truth about my re- reaction to the word that I saw yesterday. But it wasn't just that. It wasn't just that. Um, God had given a word about the female false prophets, but it was the word that was spoken about those that were listening to them. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 17, from verse, verse 13 from verse 17. Ezekiel 13 from verse 17. I'll read it from the NLT because that was where I was. And it said, uh, it says, now son of man, speak against the women who prophesy from their own imagination. This is what the sovereign Lord says. What sorrow awaits you women who are ensnaring the souls of my people, young and old alike? You type magic charms on their wrists and furnish them with magic veils. Do you think you trap others without bringing destruction on yourself? Now this is where my heart shook a little bit because it says, you bring shame on me among my people for a few handful of barley or a piece of bread by lying to my people who love to listen to lies. You kill those who should not die and you promise life to those who should not live. And as she was prophesying tonight, I was like, Lord, this is a word right in season. By lying to my people who love to listen to lies. We're leaving this space today and God is speaking. And I'll share the dream. um, But not just the actual picture, but the interpretation of it. Because I was looking for a perfect moment. It was in a church setting, but I was looking for a perfect moment. And when she was saying, arise, arise, I saw the whole picture again, waiting for perfect moments. 
but there was no perfect moment. And the Lord is saying to us, because as I didn't see myself in a house, I saw myself in the church. And it coming through a prophecy, could be just for me, could be for all of us. But in the mouth of two or three witnesses, the word is established. It says, there won't be perfect moments, but we must speak the word. No ideal moments, but we must prophesy. Sometimes we will be taking risks because there was a place where somebody had said, well, you can go up to this position. Um, you can stand up there to speak. But when I looked, there was no stairs for me to climb up. It was very like an awkward place that even the person that went up there to show me I could stand up when he was coming down, he had to slide. And if he was not careful, he would have fallen. And I thought, I'm not gonna fall on that. But if I wanted to get up there, it would have been a risk that I would have had to take. So the Lord is saying that sometimes we'll have to take risks. Waiting for the perfect moment would cost. And as I was, all of these things were happening. I realized that people were leaving the space because of all these interruptions and I was looking for the perfect moment. And then not just that I was, I people were leaving. Now I then began to notice, because something was said in the prophecy tonight, I started to notice that there were some people that were in the congregation that I did not see, I had not recognized, but all of a sudden, and these were prominent people, and the Lord is saying that there are prominent people that he will give us, give us access to, even in awkward moments. But if we don't take hold of the opportunities, and those people, it could be for their salvation. Because at the end of the whole event, um, I was actually going to speak on prayer. And that's why I know that it has to do with what has happened here tonight. And interestingly, what I had prepared, I realized that I did not have it with me, but I had a word on the inside of me. I knew I was going to speak on prayer, but the notes that I had written down was not there. But at that very moment, I was going to speak from my heart. And it was on the Lord's prayer, actually. That was not what I had prepared but that was what I was going to speak about. And I knew at that moment, it was from my heart that I would have done it. But some prominent people are waiting in the crowd. They're waiting, because most of the times, most of the times those people, because of pride, because of their recognition or their, their whatever they are, you know, um, they hide. They need help. But they hide in the crowd. They hide behind, uh, especially on social media, they hide behind different accounts. They hide in different images. But it doesn't mean that they don't need help. But if we don't step out, we could unknowingly miss out on the message that could have saved them, that could have helped them. In trying to find the perfect moment, and that really describes a, a lot of myself, actually, waiting for the perfect moment. And he said, there will be blockages, but prophesy. Speak the word. There are times when you might even forget what the things that you have prepared, but I will put a word in your mouth. The time is now. Pray. Trust me, says the Lord. I will give you access to unusual places. Take advantage of those moments and prophesy. I am with you. He has shifted us up to positions that in the, phys in the physical, you might not see it, but in the spiritual, is evident.
arise. The word has been released. Arise. Arise. Our work is not done. We've just moved to another level. We go from glory to glory. We go from strength to strength. With you, he, he has used us tonight to establish thrones, to pull down altars, to destroy curses. We've done it with the strength of the Lord to speak against things that are I've been established in the realm of the spirit and even in the physical. We have blessed our nations. We have blessed the kingdoms of this world and we have declared that the kingdoms of this world has become the kingdom of our God. He would use what the enemy meant for evil for his own agenda. Let's thank him. That he's used us to uproot and to tear. Oh, God.